What's up guys? So, today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about the changes to Rosa, and every single patch, the devs keep buffing or changing Rosa, and I appreciate that. The devs know she's a bad character and needs some help. With that said, was this patch the help she needed? Short answer is no. Um, so let's talk about the changes. The first change that is just straight up a buff, no matter how you look at it, is down smash. It has more knockback. It's not a significant increase in knockback though, it's like a very small increase. It felt really big when I was testing it at first, and then I compared it to pre-patch and I was like, oh wait, it's not that big of a deal. So let's kill him like, I don't know, like 5 to 10% earlier probably, an average thing we're hitting something with it. So that's nice, uh, but overall whatever, not like gonna change anything. The other change is down smash. And this is the change they keep giving every single, like, uh, move Rosa has. Where if Luma's, like, behind Rosa, when you do a move, Luma makes sure to teleport in front of Rosa. And this is a nice change. Don't get me wrong, this is always a nice change. Um, but here, I don't know how significant it's gonna be. It means if you have, like, uh, you like, dashing up, maybe, like, Luma's more reliable, like, there. Like, if you, like, turn around, it helps. Oops. I stink. So, it is nice. But honestly, it, it it feels particularly like subpar on down smash because uh, Rosa's down smash has more range than Luma's. So a lot of times hitting someone with like max range Rosa's Rosa down smash won't actually combo to Luma down smash, which hurts a lot. Along with the fact that sometimes it doesn't feel reliable. Like sometimes they do like down smash here, and like Luma like clearly like was not like fully in front of Rosa I think, uh, over there. So, like, it doesn't feel like it works fully. And then also, Down Smash as a move is just not that good. It doesn't have that much range, hits low to the ground in a game where most characters are either jumping or throwing out long range moves on the ground. And this move has a decent amount of uh, lag just because it's such a long animation that, like, people can easily react to, like, you using this if it whiffs. And on block, it's really not that good. Rose's hit on block is like minus 30. If it's just Rose's hit, if, uh, front hit, of course. If Luma hits the block, it's still minus 18, which is a really easy punish. So, even though it's a fast move, which is nice, it's a subpar move. It doesn't really help Rose out, in my opinion. And, they, they kind of glitched it out, where, like, if you do, like, down smash from too far away, Luma just teleports to you. Which, if you just, like, uh, other smashes, like forward smash, Luma, like, moves to you, but you can kind of, like, lock it in place at certain distances, which can be really nice. And I know, like, there are some Rosa players that, like, doing things like this. So, losing that setup, I hope they fix that, because it's definitely a glitch. But it definitely hurts a little bit. Um, just because even, like, here, it's, like, teleporting. That actually kind of stinks. I like sometimes doing, like, that, where I set up, like, the attack cancel and have, like, Luma, like, in front of you, but not next to me, and down smashing. So, that could honestly be a nerf. And the other change, side B. So, if anyone remembers last patch, they uh, they buffed side B. They made it so, like I said, um, they made it so like Luma teleports in front of Rosa, Luma's behind Rosa, but near her while tethered. And that was a nice change. They also, however, made it so, and we thought this was a glitch, where if you're doing rising or falling Luma side B, um, and uh, Ro not Rosa, Luma's behind you, so like this for example, that Luma kind of follows you with the side B. And this is a nice change, it gave us a nice spacing tool. It really just lets you use like Luma a lot more freely, like zone people out. And it was nice because we could do that, or if Luma's in front of us, Luma would just stay still. So you could do like rising side B and Luma would stay in place instead of rising with us. To show you what I mean, watch this. See how kind of like Luma like stays in place, so you can like set things up, you can do like that, for example, like, so going for things like this. But they made it so, if Luma's next to you, even the frontal side B, Luma moves with you. So we lost setups, actually. We lost things like off stage, like, um, run off, double jump side B, lock Luma in place, and set up edge guards. So they try and catch someone's landing, like, jump and, like, falling side B, have, like, Luma locked in place, and then, like, juggle them. And while I think these setups are pretty situational, and only particularly useful in certain matchups, like Falcon or Roy, I think was a good example for the edge guard uh, setup. The, the juggle is just like a random mix-up I'd use on feeling it. It wasn't like an extremely useful tech, at least to me, but I liked having it. 
And in exchange, now we can use this move just more as a normal neutral tool. Be able to like, just do falling star bits and like cover a lot of range without having to like have our back facing the opponent and making it kind of obvious what we're going for. I guess it's pretty nice. It means if you like hit by someone you're being juggled and you're just facing them, you can like just do this and if Luma's near you somehow. It's like I it feels like it's probably a nerf. At first I looked at it and I was like, oh cool, maybe this is useful. And then a lot of the Rosa players in the Discord don't like it. The more I think about it, the more I don't like it. I do think in neutral, it's gonna be useful. Um, but Rosa's issue is like, honestly, unless they like buff the end leg at Starbits or something, I don't think it matters anyway. Uh, Rosa's issues aren't even like somewhat addressed by this patch. But yeah, this is arguably a nerf, arguably a buff, a side greed. Really hard to say, you have to play around with it. But I'm kind of leaning towards personally liking this. Overall, as someone didn't go for a lot of the star bit, uh, like, setups. But, yeah. And that's the Rosa changes this patch. Not that many. And, arguably, she was nerfed crazy enough. Regardless, she's a character that needs some help. And the devs know she needs some help. Like, the devs are very aware of this because they keep buffing her. I just wish they'd buff things like her frame data. Particularly on, like, gravity pull, star bits. Even just some normals. Like, mostly the end leg would be really nice if she got some, buff uh, she got some buffs on it. But, that's it, y'all. Catch y'all later.